know that social media giant Twitter, but do you know that despite its popularity, it was never a very profitable company? Unlike its counterparts, Twitter generates much lesser in ad revenues. However, the already bad situation has become even much worse ever since Musk bought the company. This time, the billionaire has been pushed against the wall as his new $44 billion purchase has bankruptcy looming over its head. But what has led Twitter to this point? Is it Musk's fault or is it something else? Let's see in this video. As already discussed, Twitter wasn't exactly a moneymaker before Elon Musk bought it. The business is only lucrative on rare occasions. However, it was never seriously considered that Twitter may go bankrupt. The billionaire is said to have warned employees that Twitter's insolvency is imminent unless the company's revenue growth accelerates. Now, this downtrend is not something instantaneous and neither is a single thing responsible for it. Musk sold some of his Tesla stock and saddled the social media platform with $13 billion in debt, a huge burden for a business of Twitter size. This debt is nearly seven times the company's expected earnings in 2022. So, how does Musk plan to pay off the debt? Theoretically, Musk only has two choices now. He can either use more of his Tesla stocks to bail out Twitter or return to his investors. However, if either of these choices is embraced, filing for bankruptcy is the only way to go. Musk could refinance the debt in a Chapter 11 bankruptcy, strengthening the company's financial position. There is one small problem with that though. If Twitter filed for bankruptcy with Musk still acting as CEO, the investors and other lenders might take over the company. Since he finalized the acquisition, financial analysts have said that Musk paid much too much for Twitter. According to the acquisition, the estimated worth of Twitter is around $25 billion. Clearly, Musk also had his doubts about the $44 billion price tag, as seen by his attempts to back out of the arrangement. Nevertheless, now is not the time to repent. In light of this knowledge, it is possible that forcing Twitter into bankruptcy would aid Musk in renegotiating the terms of the debt in his favor. But since several high-ranking employees have recently left the company, including individuals who were in charge of platform safety and federal regulation compliance, the corporation is already under considerable stress. The majority of Twitter's income comes from advertisements, almost 90%. However, major advertisers like GM, Pfizer, and United Airlines have suspended ads amid the instability, adding to the pressure already being placed due to the internal upheaval. Musk calls himself a free speech absolutist, and he has been outspoken in his criticism of the speech monitoring on social media sites like Twitter. Now that Musk has the company under him, he and his supporters are ready to lose money for the sake of the struggle. But for all those who are not his supporters, the future financial stability of Twitter has been called into question. Musk has said in the past that the company is losing $3 million every day, and he has taken extreme measures to reduce Twitter's operating costs, including firing off half of the company's workers, or roughly 3,700 people. But that didn't fix what Musk regards as the company's fundamental flaw. It relies almost entirely on revenue from online advertising. It's a sad truth for the corporation right now that conditions in the online advertising industry are terrible. The technology sector is in upheaval due to a significant decrease in advertising spending. With the acquisition of WhatsApp, Facebook owner Meta has let go of 11,000 employees. Other internet companies that rely heavily on advertising revenue, such as Spotify and Google's YouTube, are also feeling the pinch. Musk has, however, come up with a solution. His idea is to charge $8 per month for the once coveted blue check on Twitter, which he is rebranding as Twitter Blue. Musk has suggested that more Twitter users will be authenticated if verification is made available to everyone, but this program is going south. The rapidity with which the blue check was exploited to propagate fraud is mind-blowing. A spat of accounts pretending to be famous people or brands, such as LeBron James, former President Trump, and businesses Eli Lilly and Pepsi. It appears that Twitter has temporarily disabled Twitter Blue in an effort to curb this rising number of fake accounts. Twitter stated on its site that accounts created on or after November 9, 2022 will be unable to subscribe to Twitter Blue at this time. Unfortunately for Musk, Twitter Blue is not yet the money-making venture he had envisioned. But even if Twitter Blue is brought back, 
The money made from the new service is not the essential thing. Scalpers can easily pull off an $8 trick, so Twitter must determine whether or not something is official. Then, there is also the hypothetical scenario where an imposter opens a blue check account purporting to be an emergency agency and starts dispensing dangerous advice, such as where to find shelter in an event of a natural disaster. Also, the nation awaits the outcome of several critical midterm election battles. In this case, someone pretending to be an election official in order to tamper with the results is going to be pretty problematic. This brings us to the end of this video. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing more content like this. Also, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you next time!